Hi guys. You may remember my hedgehog Spyro from a, an earlier feeding video. And today I want to talk about uh, wobbly hedgehog syndrome. If you may notice, Spyro's not moving a lot. She's kind of, she's leaning on her left side, slouched over because she unfortunately does have wobbly hedgehog syndrome. What is it? What, what can you do about it? Uh, how do you deal with it? So it's, let's be very upfront. It's a, a genetic problem. It's nothing that you did wrong. It's nothing that the hedgehog did wrong. Um, it's a pretty high chance that this can happen to hedgehogs. So don't, don't get scared. Oh, my, my hedgehog, I didn't take care of it correctly or something went bad. No, it's just genetics. They're, when they're born, if they're going to have it, they'll eventually have it. Uh, so what is it? So basically, they become paralyzed. Uh, in, in a nutshell, that's what it is. It typically will start on one side of their body and spread to full paralysis. Uh, they say you can slow it down by feeding a high amount of, of, of vitamin E to your hedgehog. I don't know. She always had a, a very well balanced diet with a, a, a ton of vitamins, uh, which E was one of them. I know, but you're going to fall off. Uh, so it still happened. So what happens? Like I said, they become paralyzed. She's getting paralyzed on her left side. So she, it started off as she would wobble her back left leg. She would try to walk on it. And I'll see if I can, if I can show you guys that. Uh, and she would fall over or and then she would start to drag herself and she'd wobble around because it's paralyzed so that spreads now it's kind of gotten to her front left uh, leg a little bit as well and now she's like a, a permanent slouch what do you do if you have this how do you know you have this the best thing is change the, you can definitely tell by, we'll tackle that first, by a change in attitude. So she would run, typically starting at about 8 p.m., she would get in her wheel and she would run for hours, just nonstop running on that wheel. Every single night, just get on it, run, 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 run. So I noticed that she wasn't running. I'm like, huh, I didn't hear the wheel running. So I'm like, well, something's up. Uh, something must be wrong. And I, you know, right away I, I looked up hedgehogs becoming lazy. That was the number one thing. Like, why is she not running? They said, oh, you know, you'll read, could be too cold, needs more heat. Now nah, she's been on a heat mat. Her, her enclosure didn't change. So when I went to give her a bath, she's always been a huge swimmer. She would tip over onto one side in the sink. And I would notice that only her right leg and her right front foot were were paddling so she was of course tipping over and i was like well this now i know something's wrong like this this is not normal uh so i looked it up found out it was wobbly hedgehog syndrome <sighs> saw you know is there a shot is you're about to go off the table is there anything you can do no you can't so what do what do you do do you run out and do you have the hedgehog put down right away um honestly that's that's gonna be really up to you guys in in the beginning it, this this progresses in stages right so in the beginning she's a little derpy wobbling back and forth but over time now it is it, it, and sh this is shy she's not this bad but she's not far off from this uh she does manage to get around slightly um because I got the spotlight on her here, and she's like, what the heck's going on? Uh, it, but no, it'll get worse. It'll get, you know, it, just, it is going to get to the point of, see how she's, she's moving around, she's kind of flopping. It, it, it does get to the point of, well, what, what do you do? You can have this go on for quite a while, actually, because you, you've, you, you, you sometimes got, you know, eight months before when this really starts hitting hard. Before, you know, full paralysis, uh, can't breathe, 
die type thing. So the end goal would be, yeah, you want to have your hedgehog put down. Uh, whether you put her down or you bring her to a vet, you do what needs to be done. Is she in pain? Uh, she's not in pain, but I'm sure things are a big annoyance to her. She doesn't know what's going on. She's like, why can't I get up? Why can't I do this? Um, they tend to, you know, if use the restroom right where they're sleeping because they can't get up and and go to the restroom. So you f try to find the quality of life. You have time to make peace with it, to come to terms with it, to figure out what you got to do. What are you doing? Where are you, where are you going? Um, to figure out what you want to do. But it's at the point where I like to... Hi, where are you going? I like to make sure, you know, at least once a day that I know she's eating and drinking. So I have, I've moved the food bowls, which used to be at the far end of the enclosure, right next to her dome that she sleeps in. That way she barely has to come out uh, to get water and get food. But I also will pick her up and put her face over the water and I notice she drinks quite a bit when I do that in the morning and at night and over the food bowl. So I will make sure she's getting good water and she's getting good food. Uh, and, and that's all you can do. That's all you can do. You can give her treats. You can, you know, you take this time to come to terms with what the end game is. The end game is, is you've got not a ton of time and you figure out when you want to, to be done with it. Because it is, it's a lot more of a pain. Right? Hedgehog is typically a, a super easy pet to, to do. You have them in the enclosure, you give them a wheel, you give her a small litter box. Uh, you know, she would only go to the bathroom in the litter box. She was super clean. And that's it. If I if I hold her up here, she, she can walk a little bit because she she's fall, slanting down onto my hand and I can kind of support her. Um, you know, if it was a leg paralysis, just a one leg type thing, and this didn't progress, uh, it would be fine. But no, this does go to a full body, won't, can't breathe paralysis, and death. So, you know, the clock's ticking. You want to be, yes, this is a perfect example of how she kind of, she can't really move her foot. So what she'll do is at the top of the leg, as you saw there, she'll like just throw her leg forward. And as long as her balance is like perfect, the leg doesn't buckle. So it's just like a like a peg leg type situation. Here, let me set you up. I'll help you. But so this is this is a, the early stages of wobbly hedgehog syndrome. Um, so if you have it, if you notice your hedgehog's attitude changes, if you notice she's not swimming right in the bath, if she's walking like this, if she's falling over, boom, like that. You know, give her some vitamin E. Figure out your timetable. Figure out how long you want to deal with it. Do you want to put her down right away or him or her? Or do you want to help her last, them last as long as possible? Anyways, guys, this is, uh, I just wanted to show you that it's not the end of the world right away, but this is what will happen and this will get worse. And hopefully I'll update you again as it kind of progresses a little bit because all you see online is you know, a couple paragraphs and no one really, you can't really see what's going on. All right, guys, have a good day. Take care.